Hitting part one, how to hit. First of all, we're gonna start with the four principles of hitting. First principle, we as a hitter want to be in system as often as we can. Out of system as a hitter is when we're having to track the sets at the same time as we're making our way to the net. It's much easier for us as a hitter if we're already at the net and ready before the ball has been set. Because now we just need to focus on where that ball is incoming, footwork needed and our hits. That's why it's important that after our defensive touch, after our serve receive, we get to the net ready in our athletic start as quickly as possible. Because if we take this defensive touch or our serve receive and we go, Well, then it's going to be a hard hit for me. And also, the set is now going to have to give more height to the set because I'm taking my lazy ass a while to get to the net. And more height on the set, people is more time for the defense to read where the ball's going to go. So, first principle, be in system as often as we can. Second principle, when I am hitting, I want to be opposite the ball. I might not always have time, so I'm getting to the net and the ball's now out there and I've now touched it and I'm already getting set. Well, if the ball's already getting set and I'm having to track it and run up to the ball, I might not have time. But if I do touch, opposite, and now I'm here and I can track the ball and I can track the defense. I'm now not having to break body mechanics by watching this set come over my shoulder. It's much easier if I can get opposite the ball in system because again, I can track the setter and I can see what's going on around me. Third principle of hitting. We have three options when we hit. One, we can hit vertically, right? We can hit diagonally. Or we can hit naturally. Very different projections on all three. Now, the thing we have to remember about round net, and why we all love it one way or another, is we have 360 degrees to work with. Once I get set, I can hit this ball in any direction. Very few sports have that ability. It's again, why we love it. And if we defend, that's why we hate it. So it's hard. But, we don't also just have 360 degrees as a hitter to hit. We also have unlimited amount of height. So when we hit in rounder, we need to understand if we hit vertically, as we often do when we first start playing, what does that do? It doesn't really use the 360 degrees. It uses the height, but that height is just giving the defense time because it's not going anywhere. So we want to avoid hitting vertically in round net because it just makes it easy for the defense. Then the second that we talked about, diagonal putting. Okay, this is when the projection of the ball is not vertically down, it's diagonally in. With this type of hitting, I can now hit it far and long and use the 360 degrees I've been given. This can be great if I'm trying to hit it over the defense. With this, I'm gonna contact that ball a little bit higher to now get that diagonal projection in. And then the third is we then have lateral hitting. Lateral hitting is when we're laying this one. Drop, and now we're hitting it nice and low, maybe even above knee, below knee height. So it's a very hard touch for the defense. Now, what we need to understand is, oh, why Scott? Why would we sometimes use diagonal? Why would we use lateral? Well, this is the fourth principle. We need to understand that hitting, if this says incoming, and it's coming into this lovely right-handed sweet spot, if I contact the ball here, I've only really got a vertical hit, it's gonna hit down. As I kick one there to drop, and I hit here, I could probably hit in that direction there, but it make it tiny back towards basil. And if I don't drop it a little bit further, oh, now I could probably hit it towards you, Sophie. I could probably wrap it on my left foot. And if I let it drop that little bit more, whoa. If I let that drop even more, I can now even hit back in that direction. I never even got the choice of that direction when the ball was here, or here, but I did when the ball was here. So as the fourth principle, 
The lower you let the ball drop and the closer you contact it to the net, the more range you get given. That's why it's really important that we learn the correct hitting form because then we get given the choice. We get given the choice to either hit it here, in, here, here, or here. So those are the four principles. We want to be in system, okay? At the net and ready before the ball is set. Second one, we can, we want to get opposite the ball because now we can track the setter into defense. The third one, vertical, diagonal, lateral. We need to be aware of them. Okay, we want to avoid vertical, diagonal, and lateral we need to work on. And the fourth principle, the closer we contact this ball to the net, the more options we get available to us as a hitter when the ball is set over the net.